Hello again, I am Blonty. This is Minecraft Dungeons. I love the game. If you haven't caught up with this yet already, it's kind of like a Diablo style dungeon crawler uh, uh, kind of action ARPG combat thing with uh, uh, tons of different ways to load out your character and tons of different combinations of weapons and enchantments and armors and assistance. And then and, and it's, it's crazy fun. I've been having a blast with it. As you can see, I'm already well past level 100 and still having fun. I've beaten the game on the absolute toughest difficulty level. I've beaten every level on the absolute toughest difficulty level the game has to offer. And I'm still wanting to play just for that loot grind and waiting till July for the first installment of DLC. But there is a problem with this game in that it doesn't use cloud saves. Can you imagine that? In this, the current year of 2020, a, a game from Microsoft Game Studio published, by the way, who, who've been lauding for quite some time now, you know, cross buy, cross save, cross play, cross this, cross that, cloud save this. Uh, and it doesn't even support the most basic form of cloud save. So even if I log into this game with the same Xbox Live account on, you know, two PCs that are in the same room, it won't, cro it won't cross save. It won't, it won't. It won't cloud save for me. And it's an even bigger issue because when the game launched, it had a few problems. Some people had to reinstall the game or if you have to uninstall the game for whatever reason, you need to make more space or whatever it is, uh, it will just delete your save because it cleans up after itself as you uninstall and your save gets deleted, apparently. So when you reinstall, your save's not there anymore. So this is how you solve that. This is how you find your character save file so you can back it up or move it to another machine or whatever you need to do with it. I'm going to tell you how. It's super simple. Nothing intimidating. You just have to find a secret folder to find a special file. It's super easy. Here's how you do it. Now, you're going to need to find one of Windows hidden directories to actually get to the save files. I actually have this already on a shortcut on my desktop because I use it frequently for, uh, well, mainly Minecraft Prime, actually. But it's also some other stuff is buried in the... Uh, app data folder as well. But if you need to find it, you might be able to find it just by exploring, but you will need to your, go to your file explorer. What you need to do is find it in the first place is go to the address bar there and type in percent app data percent. That's it. Press enter and it will automatically take you to the hidden directory app data roaming. You don't need roaming unless you're dealing with other Minecraft stuff. Uh, ignore the Minecraft dot Minecraft dungeons folder. That's not what you need. Come back, click on app data. That will bring you back to the root of the app data directory. You need to go to local and you scroll down until you find dungeons. Uh, ignore the saved folder. That's not what you need. You need to go to the numbered folder. I'm not sure whether this number would be consistent amongst everyone. I kind of doubt it. It's probably generated somehow to do with your account. Click on that. Characters. That's what you need. Inside the characters folder, if you have more than one character, you'll have more than one file. Uh, at the moment, I've simply, I've just got the one sitting here. Uh, that is your save file for any particular character. That is your character. That's your loadout. That's your levels. That's, you know, all your progress in that file. So you can copy that, save it to wherever you need to. Uh, we'll just paste it to the desktop there for the minute. I've actually got that saved to uh, one of my network drives. And that's, you know, I put it on the network drive. Then I took it off the network drive, put it on my other machine to make sure this process worked. And it worked perfectly. So that... That's your character file. That's your save file, essentially, there. Uh, and that's how you get to it. App data, local, dungeons, number, number. Now, this is for the standalone version with the standalone launcher. If you bought it from the Windows Store, as in the Windows 10 storefront, the address will be slightly different. You'll need to go to app data, local, packages. Uh, so we come down here to, where are we? Packages, packages, packages. Uh, then you'll need to find a file. I don't have it here because that's not the version I've got installed, but it's microsoft.lovica underscore a bunch of numbers. And then you'll need to go to local cache, then slash local dungeons. Uh, and then you'll find another numbered file there as well. From there, you should be able to figure it out. I think it should be pretty much the same. Uh, you should be able to just, you know, use logic to sort that out. But uh, that, through my research, that's where I found out that the Windows Store version is. But again, uh, if you've got the standalone version, local, dungeons, number, characters. Easy peasy. So yeah, you can make an automated script to back that up to wherever you need to be, or you can save this as a shortcut to your desktop just by right-click dragging it across and you go, oh, make a shortcut here. Now I can open up whenever I like and go to my characters folder and save that or move that across to my other machines and whatnot or whatever you need to do. So there you go. I hope that has been useful and helpful. Uh, thank you for watching. I am Blunty, and we'll catch you next time. Uh, feel free to drop a comment down below. Say thank you, Blunty. And thank you, as always, to my 
Patreon's name scrolling by. You are glorious people. Thank you very much for your support.